So if you're... Hi everyone, welcome to March 2021's What's New in Beauty video. In this video, I'm gonna show you a ton of new makeup, a lot of skincare, and a lot of hair care this month. In general, things slow down a little bit. That tends to happen around the holidays and the beginning of the new year. The brands flood the market with a bunch of new stuff. Now things have calmed down a little bit, but we've still got a lot of new things to check out together. So if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Keep on watching. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. You can also follow over on Instagram at Allura Beauty. I'll put the username in the upper right hand or left hand, I don't know, corner. And um, this month, instead of having the traditional YouTube type of giveaway, it's gonna be a little bit different. I think I'm going to focus it over on Instagram. Um, you'll kind of see why, but stay tuned if you want to check out all this new stuff with me and maybe win some of it over on Instagram. I will link everything that I show you in the description box below. It's also important to check that out because a lot of the time I will have discounts, special discount promotions for you to take advantage of if you are interested in purchasing any of these and trying them out for yourself so you may as well get an extra bonus discount on them if you can okay i know it's springtime and we're supposed to get flowers but it's actually very cold in the past few days and it's rainy so i still feel like cozy and just i want to bundle up and be in front of the fireplace Oh, if you see peeling on my nose, it's because I did chemical peel on my nose area specifically, so it's a little bit dry there. So hopefully I'm staying far away, you can't see that, but if you wanna know where my sweater is from, it's from Amazon, I'll link it. I cannot tell you where my necklace or my ring are from. My grape earrings are from Etsy, so the sweater and earrings I'll link below. Really quick, I wanna bring you to your attention, the Skin Store anniversary sale that is going on right now. I know I've mentioned skinstore.com in several videos before. They are one of my favorite websites for purchasing higher end, particularly skincare, although they do have some makeup brands. So they have different discounts depending on the brands. And uh, in addition, they were kind enough to send along an extra coupon discount that you can get on top of the sale discount. So I'll put that discount and the details in the description box below. I believe the sale goes until the 22nd of this month. I'm gonna really quickly shout out to you some of my favorites of my favorites from skinstore.com that you can go check out for yourself. Skincare really quickly, this AHA, very innovative glycolic acid um, product from Murad. It's the Resurgent Replenishing Multi-Acid Peel. It is duo phase, so it has a mixture of oil and replenishers for the skin in addition to the AHA so that if you do experience peeling and drying it is already combated in one product for you. Derma Doctors Kakadu C High Potency Evening Oil 20% Vitamin C with ferulic acid and vitamin E to stabilize and enhance the vitamin C penetration. Fantastic product. Expensive but this is a beautifully formulated oil that you can absolutely use in the daytime. It dries down. It does not leave an oily or greasy film. My two anti-aging devices that I have used consistently for probably around six months now. Of course, the new face, you probably have already heard about this a lot, so I won't go into detail. One that I don't hear as much talked about is my TRIA device. Um, this has technology that particularly targets wrinkles. So this is a much more effective device for treating fine lines and wrinkles. This one is more of a tightening and kind of lifting and firming effect that you get. Oh, sunscreens, love these sunscreens they have available, especially L to MD, just go check out the whole brand. My favorite is the UV Clear Broad Spectrum, but all of their sunscreens basically are fantastic. The ones that I never hear anyone talking about by Obagi, this is the Physical Defense PA++50 SPF. This has a tint to it, huge bottle, actually much more affordable than your less expensive brands because of the amount of product you get. Fan freaking tastic. Um, definitely competes with my Holy Grail OG kind of favorite from Paula's Choice, the tinted one SPF 30. So fantastic product. And I don't want to leave out the makeup. They sell Illa Masca on skinster.com, which is fantastic because pretty much nowhere sells directly in the United States sells Illa Masca. And if you purchase it through Illa Masca's website, you have to pay that um, overseas shipping fee, which is more expensive, but they have it on skin store. This is my favorite foundation. Looks stunning, beautiful, and skin-like. This is Ilamasca's Beyond Foundation. I wear the shade LG3. I'm gonna be very sad when I use this up, so I try to use it very occasionally, but love this foundation. And frankly, I really love Ilamasca as a makeup brand. Let's talk about what's on my face, which will incorporate a lot of new makeup that I um, have gotten recently. For the base, I wanna talk about makeup from Color Science. Now, Color Science is a fantastic, 
brand for sun protection products, so sunscreens, which I've showed you before. And they don't just have like straightforward sunscreens in a bottle. They have very innovative products like the under eye total eye in one. I think it's called um, sunscreen particular for the under eye area, which I think is fantastic. They have a powder sunscreen that comes in a tube with a brush on the end that you can use to dust over um, for added sun protection or to touch up. But they have an actual makeup line, which I frankly didn't realize before. So Color Science was kind enough to send over a few of the straightforward makeup products that of course have SPF added to them. And that's a tricky thing. Just like it's tricky to just create an actual sunscreen that is cosmetically elegant and doesn't look greasy or shiny or feel thick and goopy it's it, hard to do that and incorporate this into makeup too and then make sure it actually has effective sun protection but let me tell you and I'm going to show you footage of me applying these these are beautifully formulated which I think is fantastic now that we are having longer sunnier days and going into of course summer this is going to be crucial uh, because if you're out in public you know, and you're not reapplying the sunscreen, like normally we don't reapply sunscreen like we're supposed to. Having layers of sun protection on top of your normal sunscreen, then having, you know, make a foundation that has sun protection, putting powder that has a little bit of sun protection, protecting your lips with sun protection, all of those are gonna be really important for us to be doing. So this is the Tinte du Soleil, I don't know, maybe that's how you pronounce it, whipped foundation. This has an SPF of 30 and it's water resistant up to 40 minutes, comes in an opaque tube, squeeze dispenser. Um, they do have, they only have a handful of shades, um, but it's kind of on the lighter, I would say maybe approaching medium coverage. This has a fantastic, quite matte formula. So if you already have really dry skin, probably not gonna be good for you. But for most of us who don't want our SPF and our makeup to contribute to any shininess or oiliness, freaking fantastic formula on this. Same with the powder, has this nice mattifying effect. I used it more as a setting powder because I already applied the foundation, uh, but you can build this up to have more coverage if you want to and use it straightforward as a foundation or like I did as a setting powder. Um, I have the shade Light Beige, which I think works well. This has an SPF of 20. So again, I wouldn't rely on these solely alone, but these are gonna be a fantastic boost and extra layer of protection protection, especially in the summer months. Then the lip gloss, it has a nice minty um, scent to it. Very minimal tingling. I mean, almost unrecognizable amount of tingling. So it's not going to burn your lips. This is the Lip Shine Broad Spectrum. Has SPF of 35 and PA++++. Water resistant, again, 40 minutes. The powder foundation, I don't know. Oh, it says water resistant to 80 minutes. And all of these are zinc oxide. Um, and or uh, titanium dioxide based. I'm also really happy to have been trying some makeup products from 100% Pure. They are a makeup company that focuses on natural ingredients. You already know what I think about whether natural ingredients are necessary or inherently good or bad. But um, on my cheeks, I'll start with what's on my cheeks. It's this blush. Beautiful. I've tried long time ago. I had another shade of this blush. It is the Fruit Pigmented Blush Powder. Um, and I remember liking that too, but this time I got the shade Chiffon. Beautiful, bright, kind of berry shade. But as you'll see in the footage, you can absolutely apply this in a much more sheer flushed manner or you can build it up to something more akin to what I have on my face in this video. Even this is not full pigment value. So if you really wanted to pack on that berry shade or if you have deeper skin and you need that pigment to be stronger, oh, I think this would look stunning on some deeper skin shades. There are mascara, which I know is very popular, and this is what it looks like on the eyes. I think it makes the lashes look beautiful. It is quite difficult to find mascaras that are um, highly predominantly natural ingredients, in part because it's something around the eyes that needs to, those ingredients kind of need to be preserved to be more safe, but I think 100% Pure does a good job. Uh, this is the Full Pigmented Mascara Ultra Lengthening, and I have the shade dark chocolate. I will tell you, this smells like milk chocolate or hot cocoa. Um, so I like the way this applies. I like the way it looks. I will tell you from experience, 
it is not the most budge proof or smudge proof mascara. So um, I do experience like throughout the day, there is a little bit of smudging that I kind of have to wipe away like this, but I would say very impressive for a natural uh, ingredients based mascara. I'm extremely impressed by this product, the Bamboo Blur Powder. This is a talc free powder, which is very hard to find on the market. Um, and I was so impressed by A, how lovely this look, I'm not wearing it in this video, but A, I've tested out throughout the week, how natural it looks and non cakey or powdery. But in addition, how well this mattifies. I was pretty blown away and I don't know, I, I just wasn't expecting, especially, especially for being talc free. I did purchase the shade Light. Again, they have several different options, um, minimal coverage on these, and this is kind of the packaging it comes in. So I think this is a fantastic option if you're someone who just personally does not want talc in their powder makeup. I did a full day wear test and real time application using Milani's newest palette. This is their universal um, eye and face, eye, cheek and face palettes. They come in two different shades. I am, or shade combinations. I am giving away the darker and deeper one to someone whose skin tone this would suit a lot better. I used in the video, of course, the one for light to medium. In this video, so I'll, I'll link that review for you in the upper hand corner if you wanna go check that out and check out out, you know how it applies and how it wears throughout the day. I still think this is a lovely palette. A lot of people are comparing it to the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Um, I don't think the quality is exactly on par, but this thing is like 12 to 14 dollars. So for that price point, I definitely think it's competitive. In this specific video, all I'm wearing from this palette is the golden -y highlighter, which I think is beautiful. But on the Instagram giveaway that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is one of the main products I'm giving away, which is why it's kind of different because I would like someone who has a um, skin tone that this would be really suitable for. I want to concentrate on giving this away and a couple of the other Milani products to those viewers. I think that covers pretty much everything I'm wearing for makeup that's new, but let's transition since we were talking about the Milani products to the new Glow hydrating skin tints that they released and again I did a video which I'll link in the upper right hand corner um, where testing this applying this for you checking in with you at the end of the day to see how it wears I think this is a beautiful looking formula my only gripe is that um, at, toward the end of the ingredients list they list flavor or aroma which I'm pretty certain is the same thing as fragrance and these do have a coconutty scent to them when you initially apply them it doesn't linger throughout the day but it's definitely noticeable so so that's pretty much the only knock against it. But in terms of the coverage, the way it looks on the skin, the absolute ease with which it applies, all those things are great characteristics about this basically tinted moisturizer. And on the note of the giveaway included with the deeper palette is going to be the other shades that I'm not using. Um, I may try to find one or two friends who um, can, can suit um, you know, some of these shades, but I'll include in the giveaway likely at least two or three of these kind of deeper shades in the range. The last thing I'll mention from Milani that's new that I also did a dedicated swatch video for are the new plumping glosses that they have. These are called the Max with three X's plumping lip lacquers. And I included lip swatches like I always do with lip color, lip, lip collection videos that I do. So I'll link that in the upper right hand corner so you can preview all the shades, see which one suits you best. Um, these have a strong tingle like a spicy ramen challenge type of burning on the lips. So if you do not like that, or if you do not tolerate that, this is unfortunately not the formula for you. But if that's something you're seeking, or if you're okay with that, these colors are really impressive. I mean, they have strong color to them. They're not transfer proof. So that's also something to be aware of. But the shade range I think is beautiful, all very distinct and all very strongly pigmented. Okay, last makeup thing that I actually haven't done a video for, but I'm going to film that probably tomorrow. So it'll be up soon, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek and preview. I think I think actually a couple months ago, a viewer mentioned these and I had no idea what they're talking about. And I don't even think they were on the market yet. Um, and no one's really talked about them, but I'm hoping that my viewers will have interest in seeing how these new Burt's Bees cream based makeup products work. So there are three cream blushes 
that they have in the range. And then they have three cream eyeshadows, which look kind of similar in terms of tone, um, but that's Burt's Bees. You're not expecting like a green toned eyeshadow from Burt's Bees. Um, but I'm curious to see how well these work. So I will do a swatch video for these and probably do an application uh, clip in that video. So stay tuned for that if you're at all interested in Burt's Bees makeup. I'll shout out the other two videos that I've done this past month. One is for Amazon accessories. Um, I really liked making that video. I think there are some fantastic little gems and finds that I've found through Amazon. So if you're interested in jewelry, um, that includes necklaces and earrings, um, hair accessories, hats, sunglasses, all that kind of stuff. I've curated all of those. And I've also always include my Amazon storefront, which includes clothing in and, you know, a skincare or whatever I think is the best on Amazon overall. So you can always go check those out too. And my other video, which is on mask knee, we're all still hopefully wearing masks. I know in some places it's not required anymore, but um, if you are suffering from mask knee at all, I made a whole guide and the best practices and the best products to be using to a prevent mask knee from developing, but also if you inevitably get some spots, how to really treat those really fast and effectively. So I will link that in the upper right hand corner if you want those suggestions. All right, let's transition into skincare. Although the first product I'll show you is kind of a, it's not makeup, it's not really skincare either, I don't know. But I'm so excited about these as I almost always am when Fresh releases something new or I get something new from Fresh. Again, from their sugar line, that's like the line that I'm always ranting and raving about. But these, I've featured them in some of my favorites videos, um, the uh, hydrating lip balms that they have and they just have the most fantastic flavors that they release. And so their two new ones are lychee, oh, and passion fruit. Um, I have finished whole tubs of these types of this, this range before, which is really impressive because this stuff lasts you for forever, this pot here. So you can buy one and not have to purchase another one for you know at least six months probably, even with daily nightly use. That's what the boxes look like. And oh, I just absolutely freaking they smell so good. Of course, I can't convey to you, I can't have you smell them through the screen, but they are so good. Fresh is so good at pinpointing the scents, getting really nose attractive flavors and scents to their lip products in this line particularly. So just I'm just, just waiting to finish my other one and then I'm gonna dig my fingers into these. All right, skincare, skincare. Yes Style is a very popular website for being able to purchase Korean and Japanese skincare, mostly K-beauty stuff. I have been kind of hunting and curating different sunscreens to try from Yes Style. I do have a discount and coupon code that you can utilize on the website if you purchase. So I picked out these three. Oh, I will say, Korean beauty, for all of its great advantages, you know, Asian and European countries are light years ahead of the United States in terms of having much more effective and safe um, sun protecting ingredients. We are so behind the times in the United States with that. But what I will say is that Korean beauty brands are, they are notorious for inserting fragrance into most of the products that they offer. Um, and oftentimes alcohol too. So it's actually very difficult to find Korean beauty sunscreens that don't have either of those things. These are three of the very few that I picked out. Um, and actually that's not really true because technically speaking, a couple, these still do have fragrance. This one does not have any sort of fragrance. It's the Suno. Is it Suna Owner or Sun Key? I don't know. Personal Care 365 Sunscreen Cream SPF 50 plus with PA plus 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 plus. It comes in a pump dispenser, which is great. The problem is, is this looks horrible on the skin. It is that classic kind of like 80s on the beach. Your skin looks white, thick, Ugh, not cosmetically elegant formula. So this is something I will use literally when I go surfing and I don't mind that look or, you know, just on the body. These two formulas I love, but 
This one definitely has fragrance, which I didn't see on the ingredients list on the website, otherwise I wouldn't have chosen it. Um, and this one from Make Prem, which doesn't have fragrance added, but definitely has a fragrant ingredient, um, not at the beginning of the list, but lower down. The formulas are fantastic though. This is the Dr. Vita Sun Cream. Again, SPF of 50 with the PA++++. Also has vitamin B3, vitamin E, vitamin C, which is fantastic. So other than the fragrance that you can tell is in there, gosh, I, it's just such a shame. This is such a great formula in terms of the other good ingredients they've inserted in here. Obviously effective full spectrum sun protection, but this also, it's one of the most matte finish sunscreens without a white cast that I've ever experienced. So I don't know, it may be one of the rare few circumstances where the trade-off I think is worth the gamble in terms of having the irritating fragrance in there just because there's so many other good things about this formula overall that's hard to find or pretty much impossible to find in other sunscreens. This, which I use mainly for the body but would work perfectly well for the face with the exception that has a fragrant component in here, the Make Prem Protector Skin from the Sun, again, SPF of 50 plus, PA plus, 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 um, the UV Defense Me Blu-ray Sun Fluid. Whew. It just has the, uh, again, a cosmetically elegant formula, no stickiness, it's thin, sinks into the skin, isn't sticky, doesn't leave a white cast. Absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. I love this formula and will continue to repurchase this one for sure. And honestly, I'll probably break my rule and maybe consider repurchasing this again in the future. But that's the update on the K-Beauty hunt for the perfect sunscreen. All right, a few skincare brands that I'm so glad I was able to get in contact with and try because they are brand new to me. The first one is Lifeline, their Pro Plus line of skincare. They sent along these three products that I looked at the ingredients for and kind of asked if I could test out. I am happy with and impressed by all three of these. So what makes this skincare line unique is that they focus on including stem cells in the ingredients. In addition, they have other fantastic ingredients like niacinamide and hydrators and all that kind of stuff. And these do not have fragrance in them or drying alcohols in them. So those are of course always a plus. They also all come in this kind of packaging, completely opaque, um, air, air tight or vacuum tight pump dispensers. So you're gonna, you're going to maintain the stability and protection of the ingredients inside. So this is the aqueous, advanced aqueous treatment with stem cell technology. Um, this is beautiful for using to hydrate the skin and get that kind of plumpness. But in addition, you have glycerin, you have peptides from human stem cells, tetrapeptide, um, other, uh, lots of different kinds of peptides in here, um, centella asiatica, a bunch of other different types of emollients, no bad ingredients in here. And this has more of a gel kind of plumping feel to to it. This product is the Daily Defense Complex. This has um, a little bit more, it's definitely a thicker formula. It's not, it's not greasy on the skin, but it's more of a thicker cream. Shea butter in here, again the peptides from uh, human stem cells, glycerin, acetyl alcohol, algae extract, Argania spinosa sprout cell extract, sunflower seed oil, rosemary leaf extract. Um, amino acids, niacinamide. I mean, there's just, there's frankly too many things. They're, they're all fantastic ingredients in here. And for those of you that love to have a fantastic eye cream, this is one of them, the Eye Firming Complex. And once again, you've got glycerin, you've got coconut oil, um, caffeine in here, the peptides from human stem cells, shea butter fruit extract, um, jojoba esters. I, all of, I haven't even gotten to halfway to the ingredients list, so again, packed fantastic this has i feel like this actually has a formula that's somewhere in between um these two so it has a little more it's not as slippery um as this more um gel type formula it's not 
quite as thick as this formula, but it has enough integrity to really stay in the under eye area without slipping around, but also not being too thick and gloopy. So if you're interested in a brand that just baseline has fantastic ingredients, but also you're interested in that stem cell technology, this is the brand for you to check out. I'm excited about this find too. This is from the brand Nature Well. They have lots of different skincare products, but really this is the one that I was honing in on because like I've mentioned before, it's hard to find body lotions that have retinol in them. Um, it's expensive. And this one, especially given how much you get, is not that expensive. The only other one that I've used consistently is from Paula's Choice. So I was really happy to see that they offered this product. It is the Clinical Retinol Advanced Moisture Cream. Um, it does actually also have kind of a thicker texture to it, which is really nice out of the shower to lock in the feel on the skin, but it is not greasy at all. It is coconut oil based, so if that's not your jam, then maybe this is not the formula for you, but water coconut oil, um, there's beeswax in here, grapeseed oil. Retinol is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth ingredient. It's well before the halfway point. Um, so I would guess that you get a good amount of retinol in here. The only knock on this product, and it has a pump dispenser, which is fantastic, especially out of the shower, so you're not sl slippery hands trying to open this up. Um, but the very last ingredient is fragrance or perfume. Again, I kind of make an exception because it's so hard to find a retinol body lotion. My only other one, like I mentioned, was Paula's Choice before this one. Um, so that's really the only knock on it, but I think it's worth it. Let's round things out with hair care. And I actually have a good number of them this month. Uh, fortunately, I'm gonna start with something from Sexy Hair. Um, I have some of their other things, especially the products that come in red packaging, which I've really liked. I think that's maybe the volumizing kinds of products. They have like a volumizing zhuzhur thing you put at the roots that's really effective. Love that product. This is the Sexy Hair Healthy Laundry Day. So this is, I think this is a new line, the Healthy line. Um, this is the three day style saver dry shampoo. And I haven't tried anything else in the Healthy line. So this is my only experience. But unfortunately, I don't love this product. Um, so you spritz it the way you normally would with any sort of dry shampoo and it comes out as a, the mist is fine, the smell is fine, but it has a like kind of wet, damp, I don't know if quite greasy is the right word, but there's a filmy nature to this dry shampoo that A, I'm just not used to. I mean, when I think dry shampoo, <clears throat> I think of a powdery feel to absorb the oil. But B, I don't like, I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the texture of a film. I want something that frankly kind of dries out and sucks up that oil. I think maybe they added some ingredients to give you more of that feel because it feels more healthy, right? Something that something that brings nourishment and maybe some uh, moisturizing type of ingredients to the hair. But with a dry shampoo, I don't really want that. So unfortunately for me, this is not this was not my jam. I guess if you're someone who does want the effects of a dry shampoo, but you also want added kind of moisture feel, maybe this is something you consider. But I'm not sure there are a lot of people who are looking for that. A brand new brand to me, this is the Orlando Pita brand. Um, this is, I think they're called the Play Line. They've got beautiful looking hair products. I was able to try three of them. So I'll start with this one. This is the Well-Behaved Anti-Frizz Cream Serum. Um, so it's supposed to, it, it honestly acts very much like a kind of lightweight leave-in conditioner, but giving you that added kind of anti-frizz, which I've needed lately for my hair because my hair has been bleached and it's frizzier than normal because it's damaged. This product, which I think is really cool, the High Spirited Weightless Leave-In Conditioner Mega Plump 5 Protein uh, Complex. So this comes out a little bit more like a spray. It has a slight like creamy nature to it though still. All of these products from this brand smell really nice. And then this product, which is the Climate Change Humidity Blocking Hairspray. Can you see I'm trying to get ready for summer, like especially with the frizziness that's gonna, I'm gonna be experiencing for frizz control and touchable hold, which I would completely agree with this. Um, it doesn't have like any sort of like stickiness or crunchiness to it, which is fantastic 
for a hairspray, you get that hold without the negative crunchiness. And then of course, the uh, anti-frizz anti-frizz benefit to that is just a bonus on top of that. Hair La Vie. Okay, this is a brand that I've mentioned uh, some time ago because their collagen a supplement. It has like this bright blue color to it. I love that. It tastes so good. Um, so I was a huge fan of that. But then they also have actual like hair care products, which is kind of cool. So I tried out their shampoo and conditioner. This is the from the Cleanse, Defrizz, and Revitalize line and the Detangle, Hydrate, and Restore line. Um, these smell, they have a very minty menthol y, and they do have that tingle when you use them. So I want you to be aware of that. They smell great. My, the truth is, is when I first used these I don't think I was a huge fan but I realized after using a couple times that once my hair dried and the next day I would think oh my hair feels really soft and nice and silky so um, even though I wasn't like as impressed in actual use in the shower I really like the results that I get from uh, this line of hair care so especially if you like a more minty uh, smell and feel this is a great line and these are jumbo sized uh, packages here. These are 10 fluid ounces, much larger than your typical like normal shampoos and conditioners that you get. And lastly, another set of shampoo and conditioners that I got to try, um, again from 100% Pure, which we mentioned makeup from before earlier in the video, but they have hair care too. They also have body care, which I think is really cool. This is the Honey and Virgin Coconut line shampoo and conditioner. Oh man, these, they, they have such an authentic smell. You know how sometimes you can get something and you can tell it's like a very, even if you really like it, it's a very synthetic kind of artificial smelling uh, fruit smell or whatever food smell. No, this honey and coconut scent is, just smells very, very true. Um, again, when I first, the first couple times I used this, I was not a fan. They've grown on me a little bit. I think I would still prefer a formula that it has kind of a thin, almost like gel kind of formula. I would like a little more substance and sudsing from my shampoo. And I think for the conditioner, I also would like something a little bit thicker. I do appreciate things that don't weigh my hair down because I have such thin hair, but I want something that kind of sticks to my hair a little bit more. Uh, but if you are not, you know, if that's not that important to you and you love these scents especially, ooh, I wanna go check out their line of hair care. All right, that is everything for March, 2021. I'm excited for spring and some spring collections to show you in the upcoming month or two. Hopefully some rain will come too as we desperately need it here. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the Burt's Bees video and any other upcoming video. Thank you for taking the time to watch.